Shalom, and your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Millers. Lord will this be edifying. Before I start off, all praise, all honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Merkakodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His Son, our Lord and our Savior. Merkakodash is the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom and to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, wherever you may be. Just a quick in transit through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now listen to the elder Akia out in Mississippi. And his YouTube page is GMS Kingdom Minded 144. And one thing he said that a brother from Memphis. I believe his name is Tazamak. Um, one, one thing he said that that brother said is that uh, uh, your belief is not required. Okay, and that pretty much sparked, you know, the, the, a few precepts in my mind, you know, according to the spirit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them here in the book of Romans, chapter three and verse three. It reads, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? And that, that's plain, man. It don't matter if, if you're a, a atheist, you know. It don't matter if you believe in these other religions, you know. The prophecies of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai are still going to take place, you know. Just like, for example... You know, the, the prophecy of thermonuclear fire, just because you don't believe, that doesn't mean a missile is not going to come touch down in your state. You know, that missile is not going to turn back from your state, from hitting your, your, your state. Here in uh, Babylon the Great, you know, America, for example, because you don't believe, you know. But read really, no, on, it says, Most High forbid. Yeah, let the most high be true, but every man a liar, okay? Because we got to remember, as it is written, the, the words of the Lord is faithful and true, okay? So it reads on, it says, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged, okay? We're coming in the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that, that's how we're going to be justified, Okay? Because it says the words of the Lord is faithful and true. That every man be a liar. Okay? So just to get another precept concerning that your unbelief or salakia, your belief is not required. Okay? Second Andrew 15. But the point is on down in 4. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, who is Yahweh Shem Shai's people, the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans of today. They are the Israelites. Okay? Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So the Lord, he has his prophets out there, week in and week out, day in and day out prophesying the words which is written in the book the prophecies okay it says and cause them to be written in paper we have it in paper you know some brothers have a KJV Bible uh, accompanied with the Apocrypha in the other hand and some brothers have a KJV Apocrypha all in one book okay and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So just, just going back to the point, your belief is not required. These prophecies, the words of Yahweh Shem Shah is faithful and true. They're going to come to pass, man. And reading on, it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity... All right, that word incredulity goes back to unbelief. You got a lot of unbelievers out there, okay? But their belief is not required. 
It says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And mainly the people of our nation, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they speak up against the words in which we speak, which we're coming out of the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and they're faithful and true. So really they're speaking up against their power, okay? Let me go to the book of Isaiah real quick, and then I'll come back. I'll come back to that point in verse 4, Second Etchers uh, 15 and verse 4. So let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 30. I think the point is around 8 or 9. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Um, oh, it's right there, verse 10, Salakia. All right, Isaiah 30 and 10. It says, I'll start at 9. It says that this is a rebellious people, talking about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today, who are the Israelites. Lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, okay? Verse 10, which say to the seers, the seers, the prophets of old were called seers back then, okay? Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. And the reason they want to hear smooth things and deceit is because ultimately they don't believe, man. You know, all reverting back to the point that their belief is not required. Because we're about to read what's about to happen to them, okay? Second Edges 15 and 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So the Lord don't require you to believe his word. You know, in fact, the Lord chooses who he wants to be delivered. Okay. And that's why we, we wish to be a part of that hopeful elect, you know. So your unbelief is not required at the end of all of this. Okay. That's why they want to hear smooth things and want us to prophesy deceits, but we will not, okay? Because the words of Yahweh Shem Shai, they're faithful and true and they're about to come to pass, okay? Talking about the major prophecies of war, the MOTB, okay? Jacob's trouble, okay? And thermonuclear fire. So, um, just want to get it real quick, just bear with me. This is in transit. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end it in the book of Habakkuk, man. The book of Habakkuk, chapter two, and verse three. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time." That word "vision" uh, go into the blue letter is the word "hazon." Okay. And it goes into the oracles, the prophecy. So the, the prophecy is yet for an appointed time. All these prophecies, okay? It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, okay? So all the words, all the prophecies of Yahweh by Shem is going to come to pass. Going back to the point that your belief is not required. The Lord is going to deliver his elect because the elect, they have faith, okay? And what is faith? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, Hebrews 11 and 1, okay? I'm going to read verse 4 in Habakkuk 2. It said, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. That's talking about the wicked. That's talking about Esau, Edom, the devil, all right? But the just shall live by faith, okay? So during the time of Jacob's trouble, the Lord is going to going to use the wicked, okay, to punish two-thirds of his people, okay? But it reads, the just shall live by by faith, okay? We're going to have faith in Yahweh by Shem Shai that he will deliver us in this time, okay? 
So going back to the point, your belief is not required, okay? But it is a wise thing to believe, okay? So Lord will, this is edifying unto the elect of the nation of Yahshua Allah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who teach and rule well. And shalom unto the hopeful elect scattered abroad wherever you may be. Shalom.